Well, hello again, YouTube land, on this beautiful, gorgeous Saturday, October 8th, 2022, in the year of our Lord. And I'm just doing a quick update on this beauty. The, let's see if I can remember the year on this one. We got five other goddamn vehicles. Let me guess. Oh, yes. 1993 Nissan Pathfinder XE V6. It's been a while since I've done another review on this. If you can remember the first one, I told you I needed to do some stuff. And I have. And I'm just showing you or telling, gonna tell you what I've done so far to this beautiful Nissan Pathfinder XEV6 1993. Gorgeous vehicle. Brand new rebuilt engine, rebuilt transmission. As you can see, I tinted the windows. I added this little step here. That. I'm going to put another one here on this door to match this door. All right? Okay. Now, I was thinking of putting one of those real long ones, but I don't have two, three hundred dollars. So one of these will suffice. One there, one there, then obviously the same on the outside, on the other side. So yeah, I tinted the windows. I, uh, what the hell else? Jesus Christ, there's so much. I mean, oh yeah, all the electric windows are fixed. All the door handles work. There's the other one there. There, see? There. Another one's gonna go right there. Okay. Okay. Look at that beauty. Yeah, yeah. She's looking gorgeous. What the fuck's going on here? I don't know if I opened the hood or not. You see, oh yeah, I did open the hood. I forgot to fucking close it good. Oh, getting old, man. I tell you, getting fucking old. You remember shit? Okay, on this particular, okay, I just finished doing a a video on my 2000 Nissan D21 pickup truck and I told you that this is also a hard body okay this is 1993 versus 2000 but all those years below 2000 Nissan made what are called hard body pickup trucks okay now this is one of them now I'm going to show you what to look for if you're looking for an old Pathfinder they're really good vehicles right here Okay, where the fuck are you? Okay, right there, you see? VG30E engine on this particular vehicle. This one's a six cylinder, okay? It's still hard body pickup. You have your classic Nissan design up front. Very tough looking, very nice. Very nice. This one does have the switch for the to put fog lights here you just need to take off this back uh deal here this plate here you can it has a switch in front let me show you that let me show you that whoops that damn door lock man come on now come on now what the hell man okay see that Get that. All right. This switch right here. See that? 
that's for your fog lights look at that so it just needs if I put fog lights up there those all that's the switch for it okay look at this give you a shot of the interior here a little bit dirty seats I, I mean I've cleaned the hell out of this truck truck this, this truck sat for 10 years in a neighbor's yard just doing nothing and then my dad happened to want looking he's looking for a truck he just happened to ask the neighbor you know about this truck and what was wrong with it and it had a broken crankshaft so obviously the engine had to be completely rebuilt which it has and I also had went ahead and did the transmission because the lady also said there was transmission issues and that she had put in money into the transmission but it's still but I went ahead and rebuilt the transmission also so you have a rebuilt transmission rebuilt engine in this beauty and just look at this gorgeous truck from all angles just amazing and again I want to show you the hell is the helicopter going on? but yeah it's a beautiful Saturday afternoon here in beautiful southern no actually central southern Arizona look at that just beautiful a little warm I mean but not too damn bad man it's like 90 degrees right now but anyway back to the truck so I'm gonna go under here and show you what to look for oh, I mean just what these d21 hard body trucks have okay so look at that so there's your differential and there's your drive shaft just to prove to you this is a rear wheel drive Look at that. Springs there. Springs there. All right. I also rebuilt the exhaust system. There's a new catalytic converter. Oh my god. I don't know how much freaking money I put into this truck. Ugh, just a lot. It's ridiculous, man. Ridiculous, ridiculous. But anyway, so that's just a review of this beauty and, yeah, and when we got it when I got it um, it had 182,000 miles and then the engine that we put in uh, we've got like 2,400 miles on it so far you can hear it running Recently put a new fan, uh, serpentine belt, new harmonic balancer. Oh my god, I guess I'm gonna have to put another list on the description box. All the stuff I did to this. God. So freaking time consuming. Oh, but but look at it. I mean you tell me, is it worth it? Look at that. Where are you gonna see something like that? Where are you going to see something like that? Right? Right? Come on now. Just, so yeah, it's just the update. I haven't put the stereo. I haven't put the stereo in. I do have it at the house. Once again, I just do not have the time. I mean, 
gonna open up all the, all the windows work now. I'm gonna show you. That's this. We got that one. That's the driver's side. Passenger side. Rear passenger. Oops. Rear passenger there. Okay. And then the driver's pass uh, driver side passenger. All right. Okay. So all those working just fine. Okay. Power door lock. This thing, whole thing needs to be put in you for everything to work. The door locks and all that stuff. And to open up the, the rear hatch from right here. This needs to be all brand new. That's like 30, 40 bucks on eBay. And like I said, I do have the stereo. Just still have not, I don't have the time, man. No time. No time. Time, time, time. Time. No freaking time. It's too much stuff to do. Too much, too little time. Okay. Just a quick, quick review of this. I mean, uh, you know, what do you call it? A secondary review, I guess what I've done so far to it. Oop. Well, that's not good. Well, anyway, there you have it. As you can tell, it's still a little minor blips here and there you gotta do to this engine. Tuning. Oh, yeah, there was one guy who I think on the comments said, where is the ECU? It's right under here. Me, I'm gonna take this off. Maybe you can uh, pull the seat up. Right there. And that's how you get the codes right there. The old fashioned way you gotta. Okay, sorry about that. I had the damn camera messed up as I was trying to show you this. So, these little buttons here you turn and you get the codes by blinking lights. That's all online. You can find the information on that. This is below the passenger seat. And that's how you get the codes on this. But anyway, so I'm going to leave it at that. It's damn hot out here. So I'll catch you on the next one.